back to my channel or welcome if you're new here and if you are new here my name is brianna i do lots of lifestyle college productivity relatable content here i do lots of vlogs so they vlog my life also make sure you subscribe down below to stick around today's video is a little bit different i filmed one of these videos actually i think my most viewed video on my channel is my iphone 11 unboxing so thank you guys for supporting me in that video but today we have another unboxing and i'm going to be showing you guys a comparison of my iphone 11 and the iphone 13 pro so quick little disclaimer this is my boyfriend's phone he just got a new phone um, and I'm gonna be unboxing it for you guys and showing you guys because he also takes lots of my Instagram pictures So now that he has this phone, I wanted to do a little unboxing for you guys Also, it's good for me so that when I do upgrade my phone I see how I like it, what I like about it And since he does take my photos for me for like Instagram and stuff I wanted to give you guys a little camera test review because they have lots of new features and stuff like that So just wanted to preface that before we get into the video in case you guys are like, um, where's your phone that you just unboxed? But but I thought this would be a fun video and he actually thought it was like a good idea for me to film this video which is cute so um, here I am filming this unboxing for you guys and it's good that I can show you guys a little comparison like I just said of the differences in the actual camera and the camera on the iPhone 13 Pro because this apparently is like really 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 good so also for filming because there is a cinematic mode for filming so instead of when we're out and I want I have to like film some clips if I'm vlogging that day and I don't bring my camera to every place I'm gonna be using his phone so it's a win for me as well so let's get right into this unboxing so this one is the iphone 13 pro in sierra blue and he got the 128 gigabyte one there is a pro max but this one is just the pro so let's get a good look at the boxing right now i have the 11 so i'm gonna actually take my case off so you guys can really see a good comparison of both so this is mine it's really really thin it's not square at all but this one is so let's do a little opening also this color is like everything so comes with obviously the phone inside we're gonna take this phone out for a second also I really recommend when you buy yourself a new phone i really recommend when you're there and you're getting yourself a new phone ask them to just sync and transfer everything from your other phone i feel like it's easier than you doing it yourself so that's what he did as well just to give you guys like that heads up obviously when you open up the phone this one has the lightning cable so it charges your phone faster which is amazing and this one also is supposed to have a good battery life and then of course it just comes with a little pack it here to take out like the sd card or whatnot but also going back to the differences so on the iphone 11 capacity is very different so you can get as low as up to like 64 gigabytes whereas the lowest you can get on the iphone 13 pro is 128 so it goes as high as one terabyte so if you're somebody who creates content like myself i constantly am needing storage for taking pictures taking videos taking tiktoks using it for like literally everything youtube all my social media platforms and just for everyday like pictures when i go out just for memories so if you're a content creator and you like to document all that type of stuff i would recommend the iphone 13 for that sense and i definitely consider that as a pro when i'm like you know weighing out the different phones and like if an upgrade is you know necessary i look at that type of things because as somebody who does this and is continuing to grow and stuff i think that is a very important thing to look at so now we're gonna go into the camera settings also before we get into the camera i forgot to mention that the refresh speed is also really quick so when you're like transitioning from apps like you know when you slide up like you slide up if you're on let's say you're on i don't know like let's say i'm on tiktok and then i'm also on like pinterest on the iphone 11 when you transition between them on the iphone 13 the speed for that is like faster and it just is smoother altogether. so i like that too so there's like no lag because the worst thing when you're scrolling through like your photos or going through apps and like it's just annoying af when it's very like laggy so that's what i have to say about that and i'm gonna give you guys some comparisons when it comes to the camera settings so we're gonna talk about photos first so when you open the photos app if you are on like your iphone 11 when you try to zoom in for just a photo it only goes up to five times whereas on the iphone 
13 Pro, you can zoom up to 15 times, which I think is really cool. And you can also zoom out, so they have the ultra wide lens, which is unreal. I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to pop up some clips of how it looks as well. You can also customize the camera. All you want to do is slide up and it gives you the option where you want to do flash, if you want to do a live photo, and there's something here that will swipe to customize the camera. So you can do standard, you can do rich contrast, you can do vibrant, warm, and cool. So that's also nice that you are able to customize and you can still use all the settings here and just swipe through. So that is something I like actually a lot. They still have portrait mode and for regular videos, you can also zoom in up to nine times on the phone and then on video on the iPhone 11, you can only zoom in up to three times. So just, and you can't zoom out at all for videos, but on this phone, you can zoom out still up to 0.5 times. So that is cool. And I just love the vibe that it gives. Now let's go into cinematic video add beautiful shallow depth of field and focus transitions to your videos automatically your video depth information is stored and allows you to later change the depth of field effect and it focuses on like every detail as you move along and it like also gives like that blur effect like it literally is cinematic just like it says so i'm definitely excited to be filming um some videos with this so you guys will probably see in like my vlogs and stuff um me using these features when i'm out so i really love it like if i'm filming the chair is like going to be the set like there's a chair in front of me kind of the chair is the focus and everything around it is blurred so i'm going to see if it does that for this but literally if you're somebody who doesn't want to purchase a camera for youtube and you want to record honestly i feel like a phone is something is kind of like a necessity so if you want to film on your phone and not spend extra i think it's worth the investment because you can film and the quality is really good, even front facing, um, obviously using the really nice cameras in the back. It still focuses on me and blurs behind me, so it's such good quality. It's insane. Whereas the quality on this doesn't do the whole blurring, so I'm gonna take a video right now. This is on the iPhone 11, and this is using the cinematic on the Pro. So focusing on me and it blurs out the back there's also something called macro photos so there's actually no extra like buttons you need to press so all you need to do is when you open the photos app you just get really close to an object and it automatically focuses on it quality of focus is insane I'm going to show you the comparison is when you get close on the iPhone 11. First of all, the focus is not automatic when you get close on the iPhone 11, so you kind of have to like tap and try to like get a good shot. It's not good at all. I'm zooming in on my bracelet, and when I don't even have to touch it, it just does it automatically. You get really close with the lens. I'm gonna try to do it of my eye. My iPhone 11 could never. It's like blurry, right? Mm -hmm. I think that is going to kind of wrap up my little unboxing and overall like first impressions review, testing out the camera for you guys to see if I think it's worth it. And I definitely do think it's worth it. I think it's amazing and it has everything you need with camera shooting, video shooting. And like I said, if you're somebody who doesn't use your phone for that type of things, then maybe not, maybe you don't need an upgrade. But if you're someone like me, who is always on their phone, uses it for work and stuff, and taking pictures and stuff, then definitely making the switch sounds like the right idea. But that just shows you guys my little comparison. So if you guys have the iPhone 11 and have been thinking about getting the 13, then the 13 Pro, because this is the Pro, then definitely I think it is worth it. So if you have the 13 or have the 13 Pro or whatever, comment down below what color you got and comment down below some of like the pros and cons you see with it. 
and leave a comment down below leave a comment down below if you are considering getting it and anything you want to comment down below but for now i'm going to be continuing to have my iphone 11 until it's time for an upgrade and also borrowing his and it'll be good for my pictures so look out for my instagram photos follow me on my instagram i'll pop it up on the screen don't forget to subscribe give this video a like if you enjoyed it and yeah if this gets how many likes then i'll get a new phone no, i'm kidding <laughs> imagine okay i love you guys and i'll see you guys in my next video